My name is Chris Packham and I work as a naturalist and broadcast, sometimes for the BBC as a presenter of Spring Watch, Autumn Watch and Winter Watch. This is treasure. It's many things, but to me it's treasure. Because when I picked this up from the floor of the woods, wandering one morning with my dogs, I enjoyed the same thrill that I would have felt when I was eight years old. You can't go looking for cast antlers. The deer shed them randomly. So you're just wandering along and you look down and you see this remarkable object lying there and it's yours. You found it. Finders, keepers. And you can take this home and then interact with that animal. You see, for the rest of the year, the deer are shy and distant. And with even the best binoculars in the world, you can't see the detail on here. The patination that tells a story. All of these scratches that have been made, how were they made? Were they made in conflict when this buck was jamming the tines of this antler into another buck during the rutting season? How did it lose this tine? Did it lose the fight? Did some young pretender stray into that glade and clash antlers with this and this snapped off and the old boy was driven out? And I like to sit down there in the woods with this in my hands, feeling it, touching it, smelling it, it just smells dry and bony, and imagine its story, a story that only lasted a year. They regrow these again in the late summer. And when you hold this, you know, you, I, I like to kind of imagine the energy, the force that this has come under in some dark, misty dawn in September or October, when this sound was ringing out in the woodland. I mean, this is it, isn't it? This is connecting with something which is old, primal, purposeful, beautiful to touch, a wonderful piece of natural art, and it's mine. I found it. This is my treasure, except I'm going to give it to you. And when the exhibition is finished, I'd like you to do me a favour. I'd like you to give it to someone else. Give it to a kid to put on their bedroom shelf. Because if I'd have had this on my bedroom shelf when I was six years old, I'd have burst.